house, the jewelry, the bed, but it came with the memory of the culture. And that's why we have today. And that's why we are still here today. Understand? You understand? Oh, we must get due respect to our ancestors, the Canary. And the, the Canary is sitting on top of the dramat or ballet bag or whatever. I represent our cultural heritage. And one of the contributions of Kwanzaa is the value. The value, seven minimum value, which can guide our action, guide our thoughts. So the seven candles represent the seven candles. I mean, seven values, sorry. Seven values, right? Red, uh, young people, red stand for. Black, Black. Black. green, Black. Right. and one important thing you must have to learn agriculture, right? And, and, and so jump, jumping right into agriculture, Mazau, say Mazau. Mazau. These are the fruits, fruits of life and food of life, vegetable, the grain, you know. And all of these come from us, I'm a half farm. Yes, yes, sir. Everything. Everything. So, if we want to be a nation, we have to support agriculture. Okay? So, that is very important. Uh, Zawadi, very good. What Zawadi is, since you say Right. We give it to our children for good deeds, good thought, good things, whatever they do throughout the year, you know? And not just once a year, but we get them all the time. Whenever they do something good, we get them something very important. Very good. You hear that? There's some educational, cultural. The kukumbi, yaimoja, unity cup. This is the cup that you generally, uh, we have celebration like this, form a circle and you pass the cup around. Um, um, to blow the uh, breath of life. You know, to show unity among all. Where should we this? Young people, that's all the seven symbols. The next seven symbols. Uh, we don't have the, the corn. The corn. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a corn there. Corn and corn right On top of the color there. Yeah, the corn. This is right. Yes, he did. Um, when you set up a table like this, right? You uh, you put the number of corn according to the number of children. So you have a hundred children, you put a hundred corn. You get four, <laughs> like myself. We're going to find it two by two. By two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and the corn represents our children, the children, or our future. The children will continue our culture, our uh, struggle, yeah. and our learning. So very important that we honor the children and pay respect to them. All right, and children. It's very important that you honor and respect your parents and follow their guidance. All right? Young people have to say, that's it? That's it, right? It's all seven. Uh, no, I don't Unity think Cup. Yeah, we don't say that you're going around. Going around. Going around. Unity Cup is going around. If you could blow your energy, your ashe into it to make it a Unity Cup. And you see the red, black, and green flag? That flag um, was declared in 1920 by Marcus Mosiah Garvey, organized by the Universal League Improvement at a 1920 conference called the International Conference of at that time we knew the word Negro people. 1920 did the that, that flag, the red, black, and green, to represent African people. So regardless of your nationality, you know, uh, the red, black, and green represent African people. Okay? And of course we added the, the yellow from Ethiopia. And those are called the Pan-African color. So don't be ashamed to, uh, to apply your color, wear your color, and so forth, okay? Those are the part of our heritage. So the, um, so the story, Ben? Or the way we say Wheel Ben's ben. story. Yeah, story yeah. Story yeah. Story, yeah. Story, yeah. Story, story never ends. ends. Story never ends. Yeah. All right. Um, brother